So I actually have a brand new piece that I've never slammed with before. And uh, this is called Between Now and the Obituary. And it goes like this. At some point in obscure time, I found a barreling roll of light. So I curiously leapt into my mother's arms. She was 20 something and scared. When I looked in the mirror, I didn't see myself as innocent or any such words or any such words that define what you are or what you are not. I never yearned to regain what any darkness has eaten. I just stared and my mom said, that's you, look at you. In a dream, I had met that girl again. After a shipwreck, she washed up on shore and she said, I'm you, look at you, I'm not dead. In her, I looked for the meaning of hallelujah. Or you could say I still have a bone to pick with my past, but I knew without proof it was me out there drowning. Bring buoys, bring ropes, she needs something to hold on to. In my dream, I stopped screaming, stopped reaching for someone to love me. I just washed up on shore, listless, and surrendering myself to being lonely. The current took me to me in isolation, as always is the place that silence feels dangerous. And maybe I would have killed me if there wasn't a voice that protests, how dare you blast that pain into the world, as you are them and they will feel collectively your sorrow. How dare you send grief coursing through your mother's 50-something hands. She has seen so much of this world's terrifying nature, but she cannot see this. Shut up and listen to the silence you have created. Pushing everyone away because connection is cutting to say the least when you lose it. But if you're anything like me, too afraid to be yourself because it may mean walking this world alone, well then you will live and die in your own evil, solitary confinement despite all of the people you call home. No one loves you like you do. Because no one pushes for your freedom like you do. Other people are more like a burst of love you bump into. Try like bees on pollen to bleed it dry and carry those blessings on our feet for as long as we can feed ourselves, but sometimes the wind just takes one of our memories and we forget what we've been given. Try to refill yourself. The people closest to you become dealers, not people. Give me what I want or go away. I'm drowning. Bring buoys, bring ropes. I need something to hold on to. I know people care about me, but not like I do. Who's ever going to really save me? Maybe I like being so alone. It's the only safe place this world has ever granted me. Or maybe that person is looking out for me and loves me as I would love them the same. You'll never know unless you step into the screaming light. You don't have time to think or grab it like an orb or decide if it's worth it. It is joy. Joy which brings life. It is barreling toward you. Over your head. And away. <laughs>